Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. On my previous video, I got this interesting comment. Yeah, he's using a PIR sensor with a Helltech V3 board and it works fine in Arduino code, but not with Mesh-tastic firmware. So I, I'm thinking this is a great idea for a video sensors, but the thought comes to mind first before I do anything else, I want a separate channel because I don't want to flood the default long fast with a bunch of sensor data. That just wouldn't be very uh, considerate. So, yeah, there's always a primary channel. You can have a secondary channel or a disabled channel, but you can't have disabled channel in between primary or secondary. They have to be indexed sequentially. Uh, the cool thing about secondary channels is you can modify the pre-shared key. Also, basically, you want to have the same modem preset, so like long fast affects all of the channels. And if you want to talk to everybody that's on long fast, whether it's the default channel or a private channel, you have to have the same modem preset. You also have to have matching channel names and pre-shared key. So we're going to see this here connect up to our device. Let's take a close look at stuff here. This is AD94. This is the one I want to configure the channel on. Yeah, so here's the mesh settings, region, hop limit, uh, frequency slot, and the waveform, so we selected long fast. Now this is the channel, this is the default channel. Yeah, I was kind of hung up. The default channel is always A, Q, equal, equal. And I'm like, if I add a pre-shared key, do I have to add the equal sign? But the equal sign is just added to make the string length a multiple of four. So that answered my question, thanks to Grok, anyway. Grok's really handy for questions. All right, so let's configure our channels. So channel one is disabled. I'm setting it to secondary. Now over here, we need to generate a pre-shared key. I'm going to use a 256 bit. Hit the generate button and confirm that I want to generate a new key. Yeah, there's my key. You can pause it here and write that down, but don't worry. I switched it after making the video and we'll name the channel Shotoku Tech. And I'm assuming it would be case sensitive too. I uh, couldn't scroll any further down. Uh, you can also configure uplink, which would send messages from the local mesh to MQTT, or downlink, which would send messages from MQTT down to the mesh. I don't want that. Then you can set uh, location precision. You can have precise location, or I'm going to choose uh, 1.5 kilometers. And I still needed to shrink it the screen down a little bit more so I could submit that. Yeah, I, I couldn't scroll down. <laughs> I don't know if it's my browser or what. Okay, and the settings are saved. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm counting the number of letters there are in the, in the pre-shared key. And it comes out to where the equal sign is number 40. So it makes the string divisible by 4. Yeah, that was interesting. I, You know, it's the little things that I always kind of, I pick up on the little things. Yeah, so see, there's my secondary channel configured on that Helltech V3 there. Now, you can share the QR code, or you can share the URL. So, like, if they're not in the same location as you, you could email them the URL. You could also send them the channel name and that big, long string if you really wanted to be torturous. But it's just so much easier to hit the scan button. All right, so that's what we're going to do on the other device. Yeah, this is my partner node here. And I want them to know about my channel, the Shotoku Tech channel. Again, we're both on long fast with the same uh, frequency slot. Yeah, I was hooked up to the wrong device when I shot that, so ignore that. That was 20A8, which is on the medium fast. That's in the front window talking with people in Phoenix. Yeah, so on the left-hand side is the device that already has the channel configured. On the right-hand side is 73E8. Oh, that glare. It's not going to read that QR code with that big glare on there. Took me a second to realize because I'm filming it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Wow, boom. Yeah, we could add, but I went ahead and hit replace because the long fast is set the same anyway. I'm sure it's case sensitive, etc., etc. So now they both know about the Shotoku Tech channel and it's private only the people that know the name of that channel and have that pre-shared key. Otherwise, you're just not going to see it. So, here we go. Let's send a test message. Yeah, I was chatting with that guy earlier. Test.
Yeah, you can see the Shotoku Tech Channel on AD94 has received the test. And it's going to send a reply. Gotcha. 73E8. And we'll send that. And it comes right through on 73E8. We have our own private channel. And it gets sent across there. Oh, it's just the two of us. <laughs> we send that across. There it goes. Received it on the other device. And again, only the nodes that have that channel name and that pre-shared key would be able to see this conversation. And that's AES-256, so it's 256-bit hash there. All right, love it. Okay, so just to, just to look back on what we did, we configured a secondary channel on one device, and then we were actually able to share that secondary channel with another device just by scanning the QR code. So now both of the nodes know about the Shotoku Tech channel. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Mishtastic videos or my Helltech V3 videos for that matter, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.